Greetings, this is Upsetting Tooth. I'm coming right back at you with another video. I'm just going to treat you guys to this one. Now, I did up the frame rates a bit, but it slowed down a tiny bit. I did some test stuff and I turned the frame rates all the way up because with this recording software, I have an option between one frame per second. 5 frame per second, 10 frame per second, and 30. So I decided to put it up to 10. It worked, per, it worked fine. S slight slowdown, but uh, no, nothing that um w is too bothersome. Uh, I decided to test it out on 30 frames per second, and my Chromebook nearly exploded. So, yeah. So I... I'm keeping them at five frames per second because I get the best, you know, frame rates. So yeah, yeah, it's it's not the best quality and it jumps around occasionally, but yeah, uh, it's I don't know what to say, but it's And I hope you guys are not like hearing my fan or the feedback is really rubbing onto the microphone. I, I fixed it. But I have my fan on high and it's generally warm here in, in the summer in northeast Ohio. So yeah. So see I'm gonna go to of course Bell Sprout Tower before I even Temp this gym. A little extra Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. A little extra grinding with my Pokemon and then continue on with what I'm doing. Battle that gym. Give you guys a little some entertainment. And we're going to face the first Pokemon trainer here. And this is a Sage. I believe it's a Sage Nico. Could be wrong. We're about to find out who he is. He is a sage, of course. Everybody knows that this guy's a sage. Sage Nico, yes. So he has all bell sprouts. So they're all level three. So I should have no problem with dealing with them, except for Pidgey misses the attack on the first turn. God damn it, Pidgey! And yeah, so Pidgey has come a long way from that level to fuck up of a Pokemon, and I'm really enjoying using Pidgey now, because now he can take on a Pokemon, and well, she can take on a Pokemon and not get destroyed. Now I can easily take on other Pokemon and not. Oh, there you go. Learn Gust. This is like the first flying type move that Pidgey will use, of course, and it's kind. It came at the perfect time when I'm facing most of the grass Pokemon, so I'm just gonna use Gust, break Gust in, and then I'm gonna get in on Cyndaquil and get him in on the action. Cause you should show favoritism to Pokemon, cause then that doesn't. End well in the long run. Okay. Gonna switch up and put in Cyndaquil. Get him some experience. Since I've been focusing on Pidgey for a while. Go, Cyndaquil! Let's fuck up this Bell Sprout. Yeah. Hey, all it needs is just one hit. And okay, there you go. Move on to that next trainer. He's so close to level going up. Sage Nico was defeated. We'll get some prize of money. Not a lot, but at least something. 
help us out in the long run. So take this item, Paralyze Heal. It's that would be very good in case I like face him a reap and it stuns my paralyzes my Pokemon. Uh, you will be running um, into a Mareep, Mareeps pretty soon. Uh, they'll start popping up in the next route. But we won't be going there until after we beat Faulkner. So, there's, there's nothing for us to really worry about. Go oh, Pidgey. Let's use Gust on this motherfucker. There we go. Uh, as you can see now, Pidgey is more useful. Of course, it sort of helped it sort of plays a role in the uh, Pidgey's level ten, and I going up against level three Pokemon, and they're and I have the type advantage over them. But you know, when you see the stats when the Pidgey levels up, you see that it's much much better than it, than it was. Oh, uh, Cyndaquil won't be getting Ember for a little bit. He'll be getting it soon, but it's not. I wish it would come sooner. Like how it was for like Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. It's, they got their tight moves, those first moves, like the Ember, Bubble, and Biome Whip. When they hit level 7, usually these guys don't get it until they hit level 11. You know, Chikorita doesn't get her, get the Razor Leaf, Cyndaquil doesn't get Ember, and Tokodile doesn't get, um, you know, Water gun. Now the the, the rest of this area is going to be just a a breeze, really. They're, 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 for most of these sages, they're all going to be, you know, using level three bell sprouts until you get up to the top floor and the dabble in you may get like a level seven or so or different Pokemon it's like maybe a Rattata or a Hoot Hoot. But that's about it. There's not much variation in sages. Go up here because there's an item. X defend. I don't usually use these X defend and X attacks. I don't find them useful. So I usually just like if I can I just sell them. Give me some little extra money. And I believe this is the first stage that has a Pokemon that's not a Bellsprout. Of course, I might be wrong. I was wrong a couple times, but... Eh. Just use gust and just giggle and laughter as they all fall down to my feet. <laughs> that was a horrible giggle. Okay, let's move on to the next Pokemon. Bell Sprout. Yay, Bell Sprout. Switch Pokemon, yes, please. Cyndaquil. Check how much time I have left. Well, I have. I I don't have long, but I. I can squeeze this battle in, hopefully. And yeah, Cyndaquil's attack miss. Uh, and since he missed, I don't think I have enough time to finish this battle. So, um, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And as I said in multiple videos videos before this. I'll be seeing you later.